about solving addition and subtraction word problems. When we're looking at word problems, we have to stop and think if they're asking us to, to add two numbers together or to subtract one number from another. And some words that are going to come into play for you, the words that you might want to, um, to recognize would be um, the difference the difference of of two were uh, sorry two numbers would mean that we're subtracting. If you hear the word difference, or you think the word difference, or say the word difference, we're subtracting. Another word that you would see more than or less than. And if you see those words in these word problems, those are clues that you should that should light up a light bulb that help you know and understand that maybe I'm going to subtract one number for another. If one number is more than another number, how many more is it means you're going to subtract. If a number is less than another number, you're going to see how many less it is, so you're going to subtract. If you're adding together, you're putting them together. So keep in mind those words as we go through these pages. Okay, let's look at what this first page says. Diego has six apples. Leslie has nine apples. How many more apples does Leslie have than Diego? Will you add or subtract to solve this problem and explain? Let's go back to the beginning again. Always read the word problems first. That's the best way to approach doing word problems, reading and understanding what it is they're asking before you even start to solve it. So if Diego has six and Leslie has nine, and here, how many more? Look at these words right here. Oops, let's get rid of that. And just sort of look at what we, uh, what the words are right here. How many more? See where my cursor is, what is running across? How many more apples does Leslie have than Diego? Friends, if Leslie has nine, she has more than Diego. How many more? What are we going to do? Are we going to add or subtract? We are going to subtract because we want to know how many more. How many does Leslie have? Nine. We're going to subtract how many Diego has. And, oops, equal. Let's get that equal sign in there. And that tells us how many more does Leslie have? She has three more than Diego. And correct. Our explanation would be because we're looking to find out the difference between 9 and 6, we need to subtract 9 minus 6. All right, let's move on to the next page. And I hope you're working along with me. Go ahead and work with me if you're not um, keeping up or you can't get the words or the letters written down or the numbers written down, then pause the video and you can go back and look at it again. So let's look at the comic in the top. 17 books are on a table, 8 books are on a shelf, how many fewer books are on the shelf than on the table? Okay, so we have 17 total, and boys and girls, look at this wonderful box right here. On the top, it shows us the whole number, and on the bottom, we see the parts, the two parts of the whole of 17, and this is a great reference for you. This is a great source, a great thing for you to use when you are doing some addition or subtraction problems. The whole is 17. There's 17 altogether. Eight are on a shelf. How many fewer are on the shelf than the table? So we have 17 on the shelf. Eight. What is the addition fact that helps us to, 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 to know what 17 minus 8 equals, or 8 plus what equals 17. And if we look over here, we see 17 minus 8 is 9. Our missing piece is 9. 8 plus 9 equals 17. So there are 9 fewer books on the shelf. Okay? Do you understand? Why can you use addition or subtraction to solve the problem above? Well, friends, we could use addition or subtraction. Let me get some words in here for you. Actually, let's go a little bit smaller on that. So hang on just a minute while I make that a little bit teenier so we can actually get the words in there that we need, okay? All right, so we're going to say 
we can use addition or subtraction if we know the fact. Oops, let's get that down below. Family. Boys and girls, if you know those fact families, you can use addition such as to subtract or you can um, figure out the two parts of the whole. So those fact families are very, very important. All right, let's look at guided practice. We're going to write an equation to solve the problem. If you need to use counters, grab your counters and use those. That's perfectly, perfectly great and wonderful. So if Sam has five red tomatoes and three green tomatoes, how many tomatoes does he have in all? Well, in this problem, it's already been worked out that if he has five red and three green, he would have eight tomatoes altogether. So we've done an addition problem there because we're adding them. That and, that and right there tells you we're going to be adding these together. We're putting them together, okay? There are 16 party hats in a box. There are 10 party hats in a bag. How many fewer hats are in the bag than in the box? Boys and girls, here's one of those words that I sort of gave to you at the very beginning when we started. How many fewer tells us we're going to look for a difference. The difference is subtraction. So if there are 16 in a box, and you can make a picture in your mind about that too, 16 in a box, 10 in a bag, how many fewer are in the bag than in the box? So we know there are fewer in the bag, 10, 16 in the box. What are we going to do? Are we going to add this or subtract it? Right, right, we're going to subtract. We're going to take 16 in that box. And we're going to subtract the 10 in the bag to know how many fewer there are in the bag. And boys and girls, what is 16 minus 10? Boom, 6. So we have 6 fewer hats in the bag than in the box. All right. All right, today we're going to keep going. So turn that page to the next page, and we're going to look at that independent practice together. We're going to write an equation to solve the problem using counters if needed. Again, if you want to get some counters out and use them, you're welcome to do that. If Cho has three more toy horses than Hakim, and Cho has nine toy, horse, toy horses, try saying that three times fast, how many toy horses does Hakim have? So if Cho has three more than Hakim, and she has nine, how many more? Nine. How many more is it than three? So, nine minus those three extra ones. She's got three more. How many does Hakeem have, friends? Six. Oops. Neat and tidy as you can be, right? So get it down, get it on that line. All right. Number four. There are 12 peaches in a bowl. If the children eat some of them, now there are eight. How many peaches did the children eat? So if we started with 12, again, think about that whole number, that whole number of 12. 12 were eaten. I'm sorry, 12 were in the bowl, and then some were eaten. We don't really know what was eaten here, do we? But we know that how many, we know that there were eight left. So what we're doing is we're trying to figure out how many were eaten out of the bowl to leave eight in the bowl. Now, if you think of your math facts, can you think of what fact, what we would do to eight to get to 12? We would count on. We would count back from 12 to get to eight. Use any of those strategies that we've been talking about. Think of your math facts, friends. How many peaches were eaten so that there were eight left? And that answer is four. Nice job. Okay. All right. Number five. Juan reads five books. Susan reads some books. They read 11 books in all. How many books did Susan read? So if we have Juan reading five, not sure how many Susan read, but in all, in total, we have 11. What kind of a problem would we set up down here? What kind of a sentence, math sentence, would we set up? We have Ron, Juan reading five. We don't really know how many Susan read, but in the end, we're going to say that they have read 11 total. So what are we going to do here? We're going to add or subtract. Because Susan read more, we're going to actually add some books. And boys and girls, look at these numbers. Think of your facts. 5 plus what equals 11? 
11 minus 5 equals what? Start at 5 and count on to 11. What is the missing number of books that Susan read? And that answer is also 6. Nice. It's number 6. Jack has 13 brushes and Igor has 6 brushes. How many fewer brushes does Igor have than Jack? Here's that. Those magic words again will kind of gives us a clue as to how, um, if we're going to add or subtract. And if Jack has 13 and Igor has 6, how many fewer is 6 than 13? I think you all know what we're going to do with that. If they are fewer, how many fewer is 6 than 13? Okay, boys and girls, what would that answer be? 13 minus 6. 6 plus what equals 13? 6 count up to 13. 13 count down. Or just memorize 6 minus, I'm sorry, 13 minus 6 equals 7. All right, nice. Okay, let's do this last one here, number 7. Um, we're going to say, oopsie, let's see if I can get that page up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, I know that those numbers are sort of in your way, so hopefully you can still see what you're working with here. There, that should work great. Okay. So if Jen had three animal stickers in her collection, her friend gave her five more stickers, and then Jen bought seven more stickers. How many stickers does she have now? We're going to show our work. Boys and girls says show your work. you got to show the work, okay? Follow those directions, remember. So let's see. She, Jen had three animal stickers, so she's got three. Her friend gave her five more. So what are we going to do? What addition or subtraction? Well, if she's gotten more, we're going to say three plus five. And what is three plus five? Eight. It's good. Okay, so now she has eight. I just am pulling that down from on top. I'm pulling it down so we can continue to work on it. Our next sentence here says Jen bought seven more stickers. So you are right. We're going to add those seven more stickers to the eight Jen already has. And we, and since we know our math facts, we know eight plus seven equals 15. Good. How many stickers does she have now? She's got 15 stickers. All right, boys and girls, what I want you to do is complete... Page 56, make, um, make, uh, check your work, have mom or dad check your work on that, and then do those homework pages, page 57 and 58, and I want you to post 57 and 58 so I can look at those and make sure that you're getting um, an understanding if you're supposed to do addition or subtraction. All right, I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.